Hello guys and welcome to this Blender 4.0 2D rigging video. I've been adding a lot of improvements to our 2D eyes and mouth rigs. In the previous video we saw how to merge the rigs with a character armature and today we will add more handy features. If you bought the mouth, eyes or the combined rig, this video contains some instructions for you and if you followed the YouTube tutorials, here's how you can upgrade your rigs. We will see how to add colors to bones, create bone collections, add more shrink wrap constraints, batch fix broken constraints, import poses to your files and how to edit those poses to fit your character. Buying the rigs is also a great way to support the free contents on this channel. You can download the improved versions for free if you bought them before from the links in the description. One new thing in Blender 4.0 are collections. So if you go here under object data properties, the armature properties, you see that layers were replaced by collections. And we have this default collection called layer one. It was, I guess, converted from the layer in the previous version. So we can either rename this collection or we can create a new collection by going here on the viewport, going to pose modes, control tab. This warning message is an old bug that is not fixed yet. And it has an easy fix. Just select one of the tools here. You see that none is selected. So let's select the select box. And now we shouldn't get that error message anymore. And now to create a new collection, in this case, we want a collection of all the mouth bones. So we do A to select everything. And we do M. We get this menu, move to collection. We have layer one and we can create a new collection. So we left click on this and we type in mouth. And we have a new collection that contains all the bones. I guess the bones were removed from this one. So let's select it and remove it by hitting this minus button. And that's it. In the case of this combined rake, we have a collection for the eyes and you can hide the eyes bones if you are about to animate the mouth so that they don't get in the way and you can do the same for the mouth bones. Now I want to also add different colors to different kinds of bones. So we have the outside bones that control the shape of the mouth and we have the inside bones that control the tongue and the teeth and we have the root bone. I will select the inside bones. So shift select this one and then this one and we go here under bone and we look for viewport display and we have bone color and pose bone color. Bone colors are colors that you can see in both edit and pose mode and pose bone colors are special colors you can add for pose mode. I don't see the point in adding different colors to edit and pose mode. Maybe it has uses that I'm not aware of yet. So let's click here. But if you select a color just like this, only one bone will be colored. But if you click again and then hit Alt and click again on this color, all three bones will be colored. So again, we do it for the outside bones. I think I will just go here under select and do invert to invert the selection. And now these three bones were deselected and all the other bones were selected. I will deselect the root bone. So shift click. Now it is active. Shift click again. Now it is deselected. Again, we go under bone color, click, and I will choose this green color, alt and click. I don't know what happened. I thought I deselected the root bone. Anyways, let's select it again and let's add a blue color to this bone. So now we have visual clues to know which bones will control the shape of the mouth, which bones control the insides and which bone is the root. But also we can select bones by color. So you select one green bone and you do shift G, G for grouped, select grouped. You can select bones by color. So if you click here, all the bones, the green bones will be selected. The same for the yellow bones, shift G color again and you can also select by collection so select the spawn shift g collection and it will select all the bones in the mouth collection when we created the mouth in our mouth tutorial i didn't even know about the shrink wrap constraint and then i added the shrink wrap only to the tongue so that it is displayed constantly because if you disable it from here and you hit this i button here you see that if the bone is far from the mouth g and if it is closer g y it gets bigger. So I added the shrink wrap to the tongue bone out of necessity, but then I found that it is best to add shrink wrap constraints to all the bones that deform the mouth. So I guess every bone except the root. And to add shrink wrap to all the other bones, you need to select them first. A to select everything. Let's again do shift left click to deselect the mouth bone. I hope it is deselected this time. Let's make the tongue bone active because it contains the shrink wrap constraint. So do shift left click and now it is the active bone. And under the bone constraints, you can see the shrink wrap constraint. And you go under this arrow and you do copy to select it. Click and now all the other bones have shrink wrap constraints and they are stuck to our face. 
These constraints are good if you are to export this rig to another character, especially when you have pre-made poses, because the poses won't look the same on different shapes of heads. But with the bones having the shriek crop modifier, they will adapt better to new shapes of heads. They won't be perfect, you will still have to edit them to fit your character, but they will look better from the start and it will be less work for you. I also created some poses in the paid files, they will give you an idea of how the bones are positioned, and you can use them as a base to create more poses. One new thing in the Blender 4.0, the set N, the poses here were under the animation tab, and now we have this message, pose library, the pose library moved, pose assets are now available in the asset shelf, toggle asset shelf. So this is the asset shelf, it is visible in pose mode, you can hide it by left clicking here and dragging here, and then you can unhide it by by clicking on this little arrow here. You need the pause library add-on to be enabled to use the pauses. So under preferences, add-ons, let's write pause. So this animation pause library add-on needs to be enabled. The thumbnails here were created with the poses and they are not ideal because they use the workbench render engine that you can find under here and you can change its settings if you select it to use here studio or matcap i used matcap and i used here random the problem with this render engine is that it doesn't show procedural textures we can see the inside of our eyes and of our mouse and when we use random it is tricky to choose colors to change the colors here you need to change the name of your head for example here let's write something random and see that the color changed and you can also change the name of your mouth and eyes and you have a different colors and you can play and change the names randomly until you get the colors that you want and then you can create your poses or generate your thumbnails if you want to learn more about creating and editing poses you should check part six of my free piggy course in which we talked more in depth about actions and poses now once you join your eyes rig or mouth rig or face rig to your character's armature as we saw in the previous video you'll have a bunch of bones that have broken shrink wrap constraints it will be a pain to do it manually for all the bones but there is an easier solution we just select all our bones a then we make active one of the bones that have the shrink wrap constraints so do shift and we left click on one of them we go under bone constraints and under targets we left click and we do the alt click so we hit alt and we choose the guy here this is our body or our characters object left click again and voila, all the shrink wrap constraints were fixed with the new targets guy. And any bone that doesn't have a constraint is not affected. Now to import our poses from the files that you downloaded, it's just the same like we did in the previous tutorial when we imported our rigs to our character's file. So we go under file, append, we choose our file, we double click on it, we go under the action folder double click and we find all our actions that are our poses we select everything a and hit append and now we have this shelf here we left click here to see our poses populated we can select all our bones a and we can click on one of these poses to apply it so most of them seem to be fine this one doesn't look the same as this one so it needs to be edited this one too has these lines on top and to edit a pose you need to be in the dub sheets in the action editor and you should select your pose from here i don't know if you can see the name so this one is pose eyes 05 so choose it from here and then we should have the auto key in enabled here in the what is it called the timeline panel here so we click on this to enable auto key in, and then we can start fixing this one so that we don't see these lines maybe we move this bone a little bit down maybe we enable the x so we can edit the opposite bones together so g and move this a little bit down and it should be fixed now you shouldn't click one of the other poses while you have your action displayed here because you will overwrite your action so first you will have to close the action from here and then you can choose another pose yes i should select all the bones a and then he has closed eyes and here you see we don't see those lines anymore let's choose another action and see yes this one too needs a little bit of fixing and this one too i wanted to have that sleepy look so again let's check its name it's pose eyes 08 we selected from here I think i should move this bone a little bit down like this let's hit one to face our character so this bone is a mouth bone i guess i will go here and hide the mouth bones maybe the body bones too and i think i can resize this bone and then move it down again and we can use this bone to close the eyes a little bit so g and move it down we move this more down like this let's move this one here again let's select this bone the root bone 
and move the eyes here yes i like this so again we close our action select all the bones select a different action select this action again and we have our new edits here so this is it again if you want to learn more about creating poses and using poses and editing poses and actions you should check part six of my piggy tutorial thank you for watching see you in another video and peace